If the gastrostomy tube comes out, do not panic. The site may bleed a little, stomach contents may leak out of the stoma, and there may be some pain or discomfort. Cover the stoma with a clean, dry cloth. A tube should be replaced within three hours. If nothing is placed back in the tract, it may close. If the gastrostomy has been in place for less than two months, or you have not been trained on how to replace, then contact your health care provider or go to the emergency room. Start by gathering all your supplies, including 1. The tube that has fallen out if it is a balloon-type tube or a replacement gastrostomy tube. 2. A 5 to 10 milliliter syringe. 3. A feeding or irrigation syringe. 4. A cup of water or surgical lubricant for moistening the gastrostomy tube. 5. pH paper. Wash your hands. If prescribed, give or apply the pain medication ordered by your doctor for tube replacement. If this is a routine change, deflate the balloon and remove the existing G-tube. Check the balloon of the replacement tube by injecting the same amount of water with a small syringe, usually 5 milliliters. There are two portals on the tube. One is for feeding and the other is for inflating the balloon. Withdraw the water back out to deflate the balloon. With the balloon deflated, apply water-based lubricant to the end of the gastrostomy tube. Insert the tube into the tract smoothly. It should be a snug fit, but if it does not pass smoothly, it may be at the wrong angle and lead to the wrong cavity. Inflate the balloon with the amount of water marked on the balloon. Gently pull back on the tube to make sure it is firmly in place. Check the tube position by attaching a syringe to the feeding portal and pulling back on a syringe to see if there is any gastric fluid from the tube. Check the fluid with the pH paper. A pH of less than 5 with clear to light green contents indicates a stomach placement. If you do not see stomach contents or feeding return, retry or call your health care provider. If a jejunostomy tube is misplaced or falls out, do not try to replace the tube yourself. It is extremely important that the tube stay in good position to avoid problems with leakage. If there is any doubt about the placement of the tube, do not give the feeding and call the nurse or physician for instructions. Okay, now it is your turn to practice. If you have a feeding tube skill kit, remove and reinsert the gastrostomy button.